my channel. My name is Laura, and today I'm pre-recording Top 5 Wednesday. Um, it's originally by Lainey, by Ginger Reads Lainey. Um, that's the host, um, and the topic this week are hard topics such as child abuse, mental health, um, illness, um, and uh, sexual assault. So, topics like that, and I'm going to go down five books. I'm going to use my trusty journals. This is 2014, and the first book that I have to share with you is a non-fiction book. It's a true story. The book is called Annalise by Adri Adriana Bellini. I will put the picture of it up here. Okay. It's a true story about a girl who is 19 years old. Um, she lives in New Jersey, and she grew up with her stepdad, who was an al alcoholic, and he was very abusive. Um, she had a twin sister and a brother, and she had to protect them throughout her life, and uh, no one suspected the abuse that she went through. And um, I had this on my Kindle. Um, I actually, it says free Kindle Prime, so I must have read this as a Prime member. <laughs> That's what I have in my notes here, so yeah. It was good. I gave it four stars, um, and it does take place in the state that I live in. <laughs> The second book is a YA um, fiction book, and the book that uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about is The Truth About Alice, and I will put the picture here. Uh, it's a 200-page book. Um, it was a page-turner for me. Um, it's told, take, it takes place, uh, there's four POVs, um, and it takes place in a high school that has major issues like sex, pregnancy, abortion, alcohol, death, bullying, and friendship. And I have a quote written in here that I will share with you. It's, I've learned about people. They don't get that mean and nasty overnight. But if you give people enough time, eventually they'll do the most heartbreaking stuff in the world. Don't always believe what others say. So that was the quote that I wrote in here. It's for Mature YA, uh, and I gave this book five stars. The third book is also a YA book that I read back in August of 2014. Uh, it's The Half-Life of P Molly Pierce by Katrina Lino. I'll put the picture of the book here. Uh, in my notes, um, I think that this one was about mental health. And in my notes, I just wrote a tilt -a wheel of a first novel, a heartbreak, a breathtaking thrill that takes you in one direction and then spins you in another over and over, keeping you guessing with every turn of the page. And uh, that was quoted by Michael Thomas Ford. And I didn't write anything else in my notes here, but I did give it five stars. The fourth book that I would like to mention is also a YA book. This is called Speak by Lauren Charles Anderson. I'll put the picture here. Uh, it is a heartbreaking book that's 198 pages long. It's a girl about a girl who experienced a traumatic event when she's in eighth grade. Um, she doesn't tell anyone that what happened to her. In ninth grade, she is bullied and she um, uses art to express herself. Um, there is a movie about this one, and Kristen Stewart plays her, um, the part of her, and I did not cry reading the book, but I did cry watching the movie, so, yeah, I gave this book five stars. The last book that i like to recommend is also a five-star read for me. It's Forgive Me, Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. I will put the picture here. Um, I listened to this one on audio. It's for mature audiences. Uh, there is a trigger warning. Um, a, a boy who wants to kill himself, and um, I just don't want to tell you anything more because there is a spoiler, and I'm not saying anything else, but just read it. Um, it is a really good book. I gave it five stars, and Matthew Quick is my favorite author. So, yeah, so I highly recommend you read that one. So that's it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in another video. Bye!